Oh, you, you, you can't live without it. Just like uh, like oxygen, uh, you we we could not possibly live without hydrogen. I mean, uh, all all the biochemical reactions in in our bodies, in mammals, and and virtually all other living systems, boil down to one reaction. Especially speaking of, of our life, but all all uh, all living things, uh, basically, uh, oxygen and hydrogen, oxygen, hydrogen is a fuel, and oxygen burns hydrogen in order to release energy, giving water as a byproduct, and and that that chemical reaction in the body, um, of all the calories we eat, sixty percent of the calories we consume. Are, are going to the manufacture of adenosine triphosphate, ATP. And in the chemical reaction that makes ATP is one in, in which the, the, there's adenosine monophosphate, adenosine diphosphate, and adenosine triphosphate. And, and it's, it's one phosphate bond, two phosphate bonds, and then the third phosphate bond is called a high energy phosphate bond. And and Albert St. Georgi, the, the uh, scientist who, who discovered vitamin C, um, and his his entire life was spent trying to discover the secret of how the third uh, phosphate bond is formed. It's called a high energy phosphate bond, and because ATP is the fuel that runs all of our muscles, it runs our our entire body, and so 60% of the calories that we eat are used to make ATP. We manufacture in one day, all of us, our entire body weight in, in adenosine triphosphate. So I, I weigh uh, about 70 kilos. Mm -hmm. So my all the little mitochondria in my body manufacture 70 kilos of adenosine triphosphate every day to keep me alive. And, and Adenosine triphosphate requires H minus ions to form form the high energy bond. It's the final chemical reaction in ADP, uh, it, where in the place where where the third phosphate bond goes is uh, is oxygen in ADP, adenosine diphosphate, and so the H minus ion enters the cell, and it and it combines two H minus, uh, minus ions actually combine with the oxygen. From ADP to create water, releasing energy, which then causes the third phosphate bond to form, forming ATP, adenosine triphosphate, which is then burned by our muscles as fuel. And so, um, that third chemical reaction is the most important chemical reaction in life, and it's the last chemical reaction that gives us our life, and it is hydrogen being burnt by oxygen. To create water as a byproduct, releasing the energy of life itself, and Albert St. Georgie said hydrogen is the fuel of life. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is is that Albert St. Georgie uh, in, in 19, 1921 through 1923 there were some papers published in medical journals talking about hydrogen being stored in the organs of the body mm -hmm. and wondering what the hydrogen was for, and they called it active hydrogen. And active hydrogen, yes, and and so it turns out that that back then they didn't know the difference. They they just knew there was one form of hydrogen that was active and one form that was not. And and the active hydrogen, what makes it active is the extra electron H minus. That's what makes it active chemically. And so, uh, so hydrogen is the fuel of life, and. Uh, it is the fuel again. Remember fuel, and 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 even in in uh, in our uh, in, in automobiles, uh, you're burning petrol or gasoline or diesel fuel, oil, and and it's carbon combined with hydrogen. They call it hydrocarbon fuel, mm -hmm. but in reality, it's the hydrogen in the hydrocarbon fuel that's giving you the energy to run your car. 
and and it's a chemical reaction with oxygen creating water which which leaves your tailpipe but along with carbon and but uh, but the fact is is that the hydrogen is the fuel in which our our entire planet runs on it our bodies run on it uh, even if you burn wood for fuel in your fireplace the wood is a hydrocarbon the 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 uh, Fire is actually an electrical reaction. Uh, electrical ions are, are the cause of fire. This this is something which is which is well known. Uh, but uh, but the the heat causes the release of hydrocarbon, which is hydrogen attached to carbon, to be released from the wood, which is then burned. It actually burns with oxygen, releasing heat, giving you the warmth. So so yeah, a candle flame. Uh, is burning hydrogen. The fuel in your fireplace is burning hydrogen. The fuel in your car is burning hydrogen. The fuel in your body is burning hydrogen. Hydrogen is the fuel. Uh, up, uh, it's the fuel of our sun. In fact, all the light that comes from us for, to us from the sun is is released by the chemical reaction that forms negative hydrogen ions, active hydrogen, on the surface of the sun. And uh, uh, Chandra Sikar, who is a the Indian from India scientist, who got the Nobel Prize for discovering how the sun emits light, the, the chemical reaction that gives us life, light from the sun and warmth, that chemical reaction is the formation of active hydrogen H minus ions on the surface of the sun, and when those ions are formed, it releases light. Which is which is what warms us and, and makes life possible on Earth. So, so from from a uh, uh, general viewpoint of uh, of, um, of universal law, hydrogen is is the source of all life in the universe. I mean, it has to be. It's the source of the light from every star that we see in the sky. It's the source of energy. From, from all of those things. So uh, so it's not surprising that our, that our biological systems need hydrogen and need hydrogen in the active form. The problem is, is that, uh, okay, how is hydrogen stored in the organs of the body? Well, it turns out that hydrogen is stored, it's attached to sulfur. And it's called a sulfhydryl bond, which is a sulfur hydride bond. And, and it turns out that uh, that glutathione, one of the most important uh, molecules in the body, is is how one way there are several uh, sulfur molecules in the body that store H minus ions, active active hydrogen, in the body in in, the, in a chemical form like a battery. And it turns out that glutathione is one of the most important ones. So sulfur and hydrogen combine together. To form glutathione is another way that our bodies store active hydrogen, and because if we don't get active hydrogen daily in our diets, uh, and we don't eat the right kind of food, then the body has to get it from somewhere, and so it uses the, the, the sulfur form stored in the form of sulfur and hydrogen in the body. And glutathione is just one of those, and uh, we we've just uh, we're just working on another paper. Um, there, we found a, a paper recently, uh, it was published in one of the medical journals, uh, showing that senescence, the, the aging of our cells, is directly inhibited and controlled by H minus ions, active hydrogen. Is that the more active hydrogen we have, the slower we age. And, and this was published 10 years ago. Yeah, and so, and, and, um, and it's about redox potential controlling senescence or cellular aging. The lower the redox potential of the cells, the slower the cells age. And so, uh, so this is, is just giving us a little bit of an indication of the importance of active hydrogen in the body and how important it is. And that's why mag the magnesium, the new active magnesium H, being a, a slow time release form of hydrogen. When I say it's more effective in the body, it really is because you don't waste any of it because it's precious to our body. We utilize all of the hydrogen released, as far as we can tell, by by uh, 
with magnesium hydride, magnesium silica hydride. 